Shifgun.com presents. I did just pause it, but it apparently didn't want to go. <laughs> it's all about you. <laughs> In the finale. I made a. You really didn't see it coming, did you? The original plan for the finale was no jokes, nothing, no nothing resembling an attempt at comedy. And just being totally serious. Serious and there had to be a little emotional too. I mean, a, I think, a little. I mean, this is this is the turning of half of half of the team here. I mean, there's just a there's a there's a line in the sand around here. Yeah. A line in the couch. <laughs> um. Well, the sand of Ela Newborn. I mean, oh yeah, yeah. And I. I, I, for some reason, I decided early on that I wanted the whole soundtrack to be uh, Neil Marconi because it just equals epicness. And I wanted it the first time for there to be a soundtrack all the way through. That Dr. Stradinoff quote, straight out of Half Blood Prince, uh, from the tower scene, uh, just oh, before that, that, that long epic time moment ago. where uh, the, Death Stuff Eaters, happens. the Death Eaters have Dumbledore. And, uh, Yep, I have the capacity to do what I have to do. Remember our trial? I don't think it was Bella. Flashback. For the crimes of plagiarism and We recorded this again. Apparently it's the only way I can do this line. This is the one line that I do the same way every time. Because we played them back to back and they were, they were pretty much spot on. Because I made a point... We had we recorded it for episode two. But that didn't have an Avada Kedavra at the end of it. <laughs> so I was like, I gotta do it again. Oh yeah. We had flashbacks this time. Or flashbacks. Um, mostly because we had a whole lot of flashbacks written into the episode and I had no way of establishing something as a flashback. So um, another part of my strategy was to play that flashback sound again backwards to get you back into present day. But and the man hired by Seamus McFly to kill Christopher Lee. It turns out that a good jungle sound is coming in is good enough. Naturally. My first Moody. Oh yeah, Moody. Moody popped in. Moody finally made it. I believe we'd stand, we'd, we planned on starting the season with Moody, didn't we? Yeah, there was uh, that that an, er, an early season two premiere script it starts with um, Al Moody. Al in the morning. Alistair Moody and Al Gore. <laughs> I mean, like, the organs come in every time yeah. Christopher Lee appears. Yeah, like David Jim. Uh, um, but it was, it was Alistair Moody and Al Gore having their own morning talk show called Al and Al in the Morning. <laughs> and there was just nothing you could write that would possibly fit in with that. I mean, yeah. what, what could you possibly do that Al... I feel like I couldn't write anything to live up to that idea. Yeah, Doc. Good luck with People were really impressed, and I thought it was yeah, something I should have been doing for a long time, but I was really happy with how it turned out. Of... Basically, we invented mythology for this that has actually always been there. You just didn't know it. Right, right. Like, uh, all the stuff that happened in the, the past, and there's, you know, an overarching plot that's been going on all year. They just haven't been paying enough attention. I mean, out there died, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> it accidentally came together for me. My original plan was to take it back even further and somehow tie back my plan for betrayal into every single episode we ever recorded. But that proved to be way too daunting. Yeah. Would have been and that. wouldn't have made any sense, whereas this one kind of does. A little bit. Just a little bit. And then here is where the serious part of the aspect breaks down <laughs> for a couple minutes. So. It, would never, it never really stayed serious. This is something that I wanted to do for about, what, half the season? That this, was, this was an early plan you had. You were like, I want to do... And I didn't understand where you were coming from. It was like, I want to do Dr. Stratinov and Christopher Lee to get out. Seamus McFly would be prepared. It was like... Okay. This is actually really hard to do. This one took a while. I thought it would We had a whole bunch of layers on this one. Oh, and uh, I realized after we did this, <laughs> after after we recorded this, I realized that there was a scene where I was there and Stranov walks away and meets with Christopher Lee, and then they sing a song to me, 
but I don't re-enter the scene at all. So I basically, about an hour before I po posted it, just recorded myself saying a couple of lines. And luckily one actually worked really well. For any of you who can, who can do a French voice, I want you to turn on your favorite song and try singing. Try singing in a French voice, because you'll find it almost as difficult as it is to sing in a Christian Lee voice. Better yet, a whispery French voice. Right, exactly. You may have to do it doing this all the time. Ringing your hand maniacally. I don't know why I'm explaining it. It's a video commentary. <laughs> I also didn't sing for your mercy. Okay, I'll be prepared. Actually, I do kind of sing sometimes, but not in this song. I wasn't confident enough. Podcast five. Great idea. I didn't have the luxury of singing as a different character like Steele did. I put myself out there emotionally. <laughs> Not even going to address that issue. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever, man. Then we're just sing along commentary. <laughs> it's a sing along video commentary. Oh, yes, I must impede oh, me. <laughs> oh, Christopher. <laughs> what are you going to do next? How many more people are you going to betray before this episode ends? I'm going to guess. Yeah. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> Seven. Seven. There's your quiz. Where's that from? Are you paying attention? Yeah. Commentaries, old one, check them out. <laughs> they're not down, they're down here. <laughs> well, they're probably there. I mean, if you're watching the video, they're going to be here. No, because this is going to be to the right of a, a YouTube video. There's like a video, and then there's the information on the sides. They're looking this way, so the screen's going to be here, and their video is going to be yonder.